One of the great myths of Lyme disease is that it causes the classic bullseye rash in the majority of cases. This is a myth because the average rash of Lyme disease actually doesn't look like a bullseye. It is round like a bullseye, but it doesn't have the concentric ring within a ring like you'd see in a Target department store bullseye. That's actually the minority of rashes. The majority of Lyme rashes actually are round, but uniformly red, or sometimes even darker in the middle and then fade out towards the edges. So when these rashes appear um, without the classic Target lesion, people often dismiss them and don't think they're Lyme disease. That's a huge mistake. Another myth about Lyme disease is that everyone has a rash. Unfortunately, not everyone has or recognizes a rash of Lyme disease. This may occur because the rash is in an area where they can't see it. It may occur in dark um, skinned individuals where the rash isn't as apparent. It also just doesn't appear in some people. It's known that not everyone with acute Lyme disease will have a rash. When this occurs, it becomes very difficult to make a diagnosis. If the patient with acute Lyme disease does not have a rash and only has those flu-like symptoms, acute Lyme disease looks like any of a number of infections. The common cause of misdiagnosis in early Lyme disease is the failure of people to recognize the Lyme rash. Both patients and clinicians often attribute Lyme rashes to non-specific bug bites or spider bites because when they don't see the ring within a ring target appearance, they dismiss the round or oval red lesion as just a bug bite or a spider bite. Early Lyme disease is what we call a clinical diagnosis. The diagnosis of early Lyme disease is based on the accurate identification of the Lyme rash. This is so important because the blood tests actually don't work in the early initial weeks of Lyme disease. It takes several weeks for the body's immune system to make the antibodies that are measured by the Lyme disease blood test. During this initial two to three week period, the blood test for Lyme disease will be negative. In that period, the antibodies haven't formed to a high enough level to give a positive blood test. The basis of the diagnosis of acute Lyme disease is the accurate identification of the Lyme disease rash. Our research has been trying to focus on ways to aid patients and physicians in the identification of this critical Lyme disease diagnostic rash. One way we found to be helpful is actually through the training of computers to do computerized deep learning or image recognition. This is similar to the way um, cars are taught to drive without a driver. They're taught to identify features in the environment. Similarly, we've taught computers to identify the typical Lyme rash based on photographs that patients take of their skin. Using patient-obtained uh, images from cell phones, we've been able to train computers to read the rash. We found that the computer is actually more accurate than humans at identifying the Lyme disease rash. If you have hundreds or even thousands of images, the computer can be trained in a way that it recognizes all the variations in the rash, not just the rare classic ring within a ring target lesion, but all the variants that don't have the target appearance all the variants that may be reddish blue instead of red, all the variants that may be oval instead of round. Computerized identification of the Lyme rash really has the promise to cut down on misdiagnosis. Our future plans are to integrate this computerized um, reading of Lyme rashes and eventually to integrate that into telehealth. We've already begun doing a telehealth diagnosis of Lyme disease. 
when I see those images on the patient's medical record, I can consult with them by a televisit and make a diagnosis of acute Lyme disease based on their story and the image of the rash that are all there on a televisit. They're um, obtained in a way that's um, private and into a confidential medical record that includes their pictures. The combination of talking to the patient on a televisit with those uploaded images of their skin rash, um, we can accurately make the diagnosis of acute Lyme disease without the patient ever having to come into the office.